of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Are you looking for a new vehicle but not finding what you want? Don't settle on a vehicle you don't love. Your order experts are here to help. We call it Vern ID Ford Your Way. Reserve your new car today. Your car, your way, on your time. Yes, it's that simple. Want to build your car online? Vern ID Ford Your Way. Want to chat with our order expert? Vern ID Ford Your Way. Whatever you want, however you want, Vern ID Ford Your Way can help. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. There's a lot of uncertainties in farming and ranching today, but one thing is certain. Statewide Ag Insurance in Chamberlain, Winter, and Mitchell are your crop and livestock insurance specialists. Statewide agents have a background in agriculture and work hard to provide growers and ranchers with risk management plans and insurance coverage that fits their business needs. From hail insurance, livestock revenue protection, to multi parallel crop and revenue insurance, Statewide will help you with the right decisions. Statewide Ag Insurance in Chamberlain, Winter, and Mitchell. Locally owned, your dependable partner in crop and livestock protection and equal opportunity provider. The Winner Advocate is the exclusive newspaper of Trip County, serving Winner, Cologne, and the surrounding communities. Each Wednesday, you'll find the latest in state and local news, sports, job openings, classifieds, and all legal public notices. Call 842-1481 or stop down to 125 West 3rd to start your subscription today. Don't forget our deadlines, Friday at 5 p.m. for The Advocate and 12 on Fridays for The Rocket. The Winner Advocate is a proud partner of Winner Warriors Live and wish the Warriors and Lady Warriors success all this season. The Winter Pharmacy, formerly Winter Health Mart Pharmacy, on the four lanes in Winter. Feel better, get better for less. With high quality products such as Hallmark Cards, Margo Elena Lalia Perfumes, and Melissa and Doug Toys, to name a few. Better service with the help of their friendly pharmacy staff. And finally, hassle free shopping with their convenient drive through. The Winter Pharmacy, formerly Winter Health Mart Pharmacy, is open and ready to serve you and your family. Conveniently located on the four lanes in Winter. Phone 842 7777. Feel better, get better, for less. Only at the Winter Pharmacy. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. 
Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Grossenberg Implement knows their customers love John Deere, but being out in the field all day can wear on any paint. This week at all Grossenberg Implement's eight locations, they're offering 8% discount on all John Deere paints, thinners, and primers. Now your older John Deere equipment can look like new again when you take advantage of 8% discount on John Deere paints, thinners, and primers. Grossenberg Implement and John Deere want you to look good in the field. Busy families, active seniors, career-minded individuals, and many other time-starved people, just like you, trust Sparkle for professional residential cleaning services that leave them more time to spend with family, friends, and their favorite activities. Which of our regular customers are you? The Sparkle Cleaning Company has the professionals to ease your burden and help to create a safe, clean, and comfortable living environment for you and your family. Free in-home consultations help us to design household cleaning services around you. We clean your house your way. Call Sparkle today for an Appointment. Hi, this is Logan Litoss Seed. Looking ahead to this spring, widespread drought will continue to affect the feed prices, and with that, forage seed will be in high demand. Lock in your forages now. We have a full lineup of corn and beans that have top end potential and can handle the stress extremely well. Our alfalfa lineup is hard to match. Super winter hardy and high producing America's alfalfa, conventional and roundup ready varieties, all the way down to South Dakota Common. NRCS or other grass project, we can handle that. Call Logan at 605-840-4591. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual Standard of Ohio and Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you confident that you have the right products for your field? Contact Sherm Gucci with Hogemeyer, the right seed. Sherm will help you select the right products for your acres, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and sorghum. If world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer, the right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. What drives the next generation of champions? Those student athletes who choose to do what is difficult with commitment, with sacrifice, with faith that hard work does pay off in the end, no matter the final score. Vern Idy of Mitchell believes in the next generation of student leaders as they excel on the playing field, on the court, on the mat, and in everyday life. Vern Idy of Mitchell, we deliver what you need for the road of life. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. 
Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbillingcenter.com. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at farmcosd.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Need to brighten up your home or office? How about warming or cooling down your environment? Then stop on over to 130 North Main in Winter and visit with Couture Electric. Bob, Tyler, and the crew will shed some light with quality advice and fast, courteous service on your next project. And they provide the same quality service for a single light repair as they would a new construction or remodel. Call them at 842-1510. Couture Electric, a proud supporter of all Warrior and Lady Warrior activities on Winter Warriors Live. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Easy Entrees is a locally owned business that specializes in take and bake entrees. We feature an assortment of frozen ready to bake options for you to choose from. All of our recipes are made with care and fresh ingredients so that you can have a healthy and delicious meal, allowing you to have more quality time with your family. Our menus change monthly. Just click on our banner ad at the sports ticket page to see our current monthly menu. Remember, dishing up dinner is as easy as picking up the phone and dialing 842-EASY for easy entrees. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. No job is too big or small for the gang at h &O Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h &O Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h &O Electric is a proud sponsor of Winter Warrior and Lady Warrior coverage on Winter Warriors Live. Com. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. Your winning destination, the Golden Buffalo Casino in Lower Brule, gives you more chances to win. Hot seat drawings, pick a prize drawings, chances to win great prizes, the hottest slots around, it's all just waiting for you at the Golden Buffalo Casino. Find out more by logging on to thegoldenbuffalocasino.com and by following them on Facebook. Just minutes north of Reliance, exit 248. We'd like to thank you for tuning into this broadcast and supporting our area youth. The Golden Buffalo Casino, proud to support Live Ticket. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. 
Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul, helping you and your community achieve financial success. Bank West. Convenient. Connected. Committed. Member FDIC. Visit Mead Lumber in winter for all of your home projects and construction needs. Whether you're thinking about remodeling your kitchen or bath, some new siding or roofing, or upgrading your windows, Mead Lumber has the high quality materials and experienced associates to help make your next project a success. Give them a call at 605-842-3388. Mead Lumber is a proud sponsor of high school activities. Farmers at heart. At Beck's, that's who we are. For over 100 years, the Beck family has lived and farmed in central Indiana. Today, we're proud to serve a dedicated community of farmers in South Dakota. To us, helping farmers succeed means so much more than just being a great seed supplier. Our family of employees and dealers are committed to helping farmers seek new challenges, push boundaries, and innovate in an ever-changing industry. That's what makes Beck's different. We love what we do. We are, and will remain, farmers at heart. The Office Product Center started doing business in 1981 and will be celebrating 40 years of business in October. They service and sell manual typewriters, admin machines, hand crank cash registers, and duplicators. They also service and sell connected copiers, printers, scanners, office supplies, and office furniture. Over the past 40 years, they've adopted and educated themselves to today's technology, and they support local students in all of their activities. They want to thank you for allowing them to be a part of your past and look forward to working with you in the future. It might be time for you to strongly consider leasing bulls from Jorgensen Land and Cattle. Here's Cody. We'll get the bull to your place. Generally, we'll, we'll be able to get the bull picked up when you're done with them. So there's no reason for you to have a bull around your place for, you know, nine, ten months of the year that you don't need him. Um, he's just costing you money. He's eating feed. He's tearing up your corral. So so there's just no reason for it. Uh, it's, it's become very popular just, just in the fact that it's, it's convenient for people. Call 1-800-548-BULL. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. For over 70 years, Pitts Design Build has earned our reputation locally for serving communities across South Dakota. We provide design and building services for schools, hospitals, churches, commercial offices, multifamily housing, and so much more. Pitts Design Build is conveniently located in Pierre, Mitchell, and Sioux Falls to serve you and your organization. We bring value to our clients by facilitating the design and or construction process. Give us a call today and check us out at PittsDesignBuild.com for a free build Building consultation. DMC Wear Parts is a proud South Dakota business providing high quality wear parts for all makes and models of heavy equipment. We quote you direct from multiple manufacturers, cutting out the middleman and getting you better prices than the large dealers. We specialize in cutting edges for motor graders, loaders, snow plows, and more. We offer complete undercarriages for dozers, excavators, pavers, and skid steers, including rubber tracks. Click to visit DMCWearParts.com or call or text 605-840-8082. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. 
We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. Shirley's Diner is located at 142 East 2nd Street in Winters, South Dakota. Come meet Martha 1 and Martha 2 and their friendly, courteous staff. Shirley's Diner is open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast is served all day and check out the Shirley's Diner Facebook page for all their daily lunch specials. All meals are made fresh and homemade every day. If you can't make it to the diner, they'll deliver. Just call 605-842-3903. Shirley's Diner serves customers from near and far and are a proud supporter of all school activities on Sports Ticket Live. It's easy to remember, there's nothing finer than Shirley's Diner. Computers and more, located at 27786 311th Avenue, is obviously your computer sales and repair in winter. The more is so much other than you can imagine. We are your local outlet for Winter Warriors sports apparel. We do screen printing and embroidery for your purple and gold attire. Stop in and check out all our gear on hand for you to wear at the next game. Call us at 842-9057 and see how we can design your company logo on all types of clothing. And remember, thanks for keeping local. When it comes to vehicle maintenance, we know you have a lot of options, but it can be hard to find an honest, reliable auto repair shop. That's where we come in, Hometown Automotive, committed to providing our customers with honest, quality service at a reasonable price. We use years of training and experience to provide you with the best car care possible. Hometown does oil changes, tune-ups, and computer diagnostics. We sell tires, batteries, and Schaefer products. We install engines, trannies, starters, water pumps, brakes, and much more. Call us at 842-1722 and let our experience be your advantage. Advantage. Do you have the right financial advisor to help you reach your goals? Ameriprise Advisors can create a personalized, goal-based plan to help you prepare for whatever life brings, so you can feel more comfortable about your financial future. Call Leiden & Associates, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, today at 605-842-3832. That's 605-842-3832. Office is located at 214 East 2nd Street, Winter, South Dakota, 57580. Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC. Member FINRA and SIPC. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at elevateagronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. Winter Regional Healthcare Center is proud to sponsor coverage of Winter Warriors and Lady Warriors Athletics and activities on Winter Warriors Live. Best of luck in today's event here at Winter Regional Healthcare. We are committed to professional care with a personal touch at our locally owned hospital, clinic, and long-term care facility. For more information on services we provide, check out our website at winterregional.org. Winter Regional, proud to support the student athletes and activities. Honored to serve the families of South Central South Dakota and our community for over 60 65 years. Remember, professional care with the personal touch at Winter Regional Healthcare. The store that always does the most for you is the Winter Food Center. We wish the best of luck to all the area boys and girls teams. As a proud sponsor of all the local activities on Sports Ticket Live, we invite you to stop out for your everyday grocery needs. Fresh produce, top grade meat department, incredible dairy selection, and much, much more. Or for your special events orders, you will always find what you're looking for at the Winter Food Center. Our staff always delivers speedy, friendly service at the store doing the most for you. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. 
first-class banking on a first-name basis. There's a lot of uncertainties in farming and ranching today, but one thing is certain. Statewide Ag Insurance in Chamberlain, Winter, and Mitchell are your crop and livestock insurance specialists. Statewide agents have a background in agriculture and work hard to provide growers and ranchers with risk management plans and insurance coverage that fits their business needs. From hail insurance, livestock revenue protection, to multi peril crop and revenue insurance, Statewide will help you with the right decisions. Statewide Ag Insurance in Chamberlain, Winter, and Mitchell. Locally owned, your dependable partner in crop and livestock protection and equal opportunity provider. The Winner Advocate is the exclusive newspaper of Trip County, serving Winner, Cologne, and the surrounding communities. Each Wednesday, you'll find the latest in state and local news, sports, job openings, classifieds, and all legal public notices. Call 842-1481 or stop down to 125 West 3rd to start your subscription today. Don't forget our deadlines, Friday at 5 p.m. for The Advocate and 12 on Fridays for The Rocket. The Winner Advocate is a proud partner of Winner Warriors Live and wish the Warriors and Lady Warriors success all this season. The Winter Pharmacy, formerly Winter Health Mart Pharmacy, on the four lanes in Winter. Feel better, get better for less. With high quality products such as Hallmark Cards, Margo Elena Lalia Perfumes, and Melissa and Doug Toys, to name a few. Better service with the help of their friendly pharmacy staff. And finally, hassle free shopping with their convenient drive through. The Winter Pharmacy, formerly Winter Health Mart Pharmacy, is open and ready to serve you and your family. Conveniently located on the four lanes in Winter. Phone 842 7777. Feel better, get better, for less. Only at the Winter Pharmacy. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Grossenberg Implement knows their customers love John Deere, but being out in the field all day can wear on any paint. This week at all Grossenberg Implements, eight locations. They're offering 8% discount on all John Deere paints, thinners, and primers. Now your older John Deere equipment can look like new again when you take advantage of 8% discount on John Deere paints, thinners, and primers. Grossenberg Implement and John Deere want you to look good in the fields. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final Sodak 16 game of the 2022 season as far as tipping off. All the others well underway. We got to see a Class B version before us. White River winning 59 to 48, I believe, or it was a 19 point victory for the White River Tigers as they've cashed, I think, their 17th straight <laughs> appearance to the to count. Class B tournament. Tonight's game here, the latest to tip off, going to be our Winter Warriors. They will be the number three seed. They are being uh, challenged tonight by the Red Cloud Crusaders uh, of the Pine Ridge Reservation. And this should be an interesting game tonight for you. When you take a look at the records, Red Cloud comes in 15 and six. Winner comes in 21 and one. Red Cloud beat a depleted Little Wound team uh, in their region play to get to the Sodak 16 winner in they, they walked through their first game their second game they were a little sloppy against Mobridge they end up pulling away and that's how we get to this matchup 21 and 1 versus 15 and 6. Gerald I'll let you talk about common opponents oh uh, yeah so there was four of them each team uh, went 4 and 0 in those common opponents in Todd County uh, winner wins 64 to 48 Red Cloud wins 70 to 51. That was early in the LNI for them. Uh, then St. Francis, the easy win for the Warriors, 78-35 compared to 74-33. So very similar score there. Uh, Mobridge Pollock late in the season twice for the Warriors. The first one 49 to 30, and of course, as you mentioned, the last one uh, just last Friday, 72-52 uh, compared to 66-60. Much closer contest. Uh, they also played Mobridge Pollock late in the season. And then St. Francis, a pretty easy victory there for the Crusaders. 80 to 47. Both teams going 4-0 on those common opponents. 
Well, as we take a look at the starters, uh, first of all, let's get to the season stats for this season. Uh, one of the things that you're going to see, a 15-6 and six Red Cloud team comes in averaging 64 points a game. They give up about 52 a game. That's a 12-point differential. Winner comes in averaging 60.7 and allowing 40.5, a 20.2 differential. Winner scores above the Red Cloud defensive average of giving up and vice versa, uh, Red Cloud scores a lot more points than any of the teams that we have faced this year. It's going to be a, a difference in matchups. Red Cloud will go 5-10, 5-10, 5-11, 6-1, 6-4. Winner with that big lineup that you've seen all season. The starters tonight, Adri uh, Adriano Rama, a 5-10 junior guard. Josiah Codier, the 5'11 junior guard. Hayden Haas, a 5'10 junior guard. Then you get to the big men. You get Stacy Eagle Bear Pointy, the 6'1 junior forward center. And Gabriel Brooks, the 6'4 junior forward center. Interestingly, all five starters juniors for Coach Christian McGee. That's the way you want to be. You get to a, a 16, a game of 16. If juniors looking forward to next year, I'm sure they're all ready. We're underway as the Warriors control the opening tip-off. First shot from the field, good. Three-pointer by the double tray, Slade Knoyer. Slayer, as we're going to call him. Slade Slayer Knoyer with the first three. And, and the a youth turnover by the Crusaders. They give the Warriors an extra possession early. They lead it 3-0, 722 remaining. Just underway here in this contest. And we're live from the Kadoka area high school. Comfortable and yet it's pretty pretty full in here. Uh, expect it to be pretty loud for sure. Winner on their second possession. Back out on top. Can only gotta be careful. He'll literally have it picked away from him and then it will be stolen by Rama. And Rama off glass, no good. Long pass down court. It's Vollmer in stride. Vollmer tries to get Peterson, and Vesley chases after it. Cannot get it, so they'll turn the ball over to the Crusaders as Eagle Bear Pointy will inbound it for the Crusaders. Yeah, uh, last time these guys played was back in March of 19, so a couple, couple years have passed, uh, three to be exact. And that one was a 62-57 win for the Warriors. Uh, shot blocked, but foul going to be called on the Warriors. Uh, winner wins the last three contests between these two teams, but all three of them very, very close, uh, just within a handful of points at the end of each of those games. So expect uh, could be a very similar contest here. Every one of those matchups was out uh, at the Red Cloud um, High school gymnasium. Intimidating it, place to play. It no is. Doubt. I mean, it, tough for road teams. First trip in there for me was really like, what is this? But as you went out there a couple more times, one of the funnest places to ever witness a basketball oh, game at the Red Cloud campus. Very very intense. So a pair of free throws missed, and winner back with the basketball from the corner. Ethan Bartles no good with the rebound, no good. Put back by Vesley, but he'll grab two of them on this possession and winner will maintain possession here on their side of the court. Poaching two minutes into the first period. Winner on the perimeter, Vollmer. He'll take a shot, three pointer, no good. Rebound tipped around and finally controlled by Brooks. Quickly back the other way is Rama. And officials gonna get together, <laughs> little hesitation, they're gonna keep it right down there in the corner with Red Cloud. That was a tough call, because I couldn't tell if Vollmer, he did tip it away from Rama, and Rama tried to get it back. It looked like Vollmer, and Rama touched it. Couldn't tell if Vollmer got it or not. Vollmer certainly selling his case, whether yeah. or not he knew better, I don't know. I'll but. tell you, there are no better salesmen in the area than the White River Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> and they're on the referee every single call, no matter what. You better be on your game. So still three to nothing here from Kadoka, we're live here. About two and a half minutes into this contest. That shot rocked, no good. And the Crusaders still yet to score. Winner only with that lone three to start off on the first possession by Knoyer. 
Here's Vollmer working. He'll draw a triple team in the corner. Wide open, Vesely. No good. Rebound tipped. Slayer. Boom! <laughs> Nothing but smiles for Slade Kenoyer as he's got two threes early. And he gives the winner the 6 nothing lead. All six of them brought to you by Kenoyer. Oh, nearly a travel. Brooks recovers. Winners brought quite the impressive student section here. As we see a layup missed that time by Cartier. So unfortunately, yeah, uh, right now the, the Crusaders have to be working against a very loud, challenging student section from Winter down there on their half the court. A good defense. Yes, Eagle Palmer Bear nearly pointy. loses it, and then he'll really get fouled. Eagle Bear pointy. Clock stopped at 4.37. 17 on the shot clock, and Winter will inbound it from the far side. Elijah Peterson, one of the seniors for Coach Gardner, Where's number 30? All Kenoyer so far for the Warriors offense. Kenoyer, almost for the second time, has it taken away with just a little inattentiveness. There's Vollmer, closely guarded. Pick up his dribble, baseline drive. Bails himself out to the corner, no, that one Actually, you know, bounce off Montalo and Warriors staying with it. Had to go off the top of his head, and Bartles just collected it for the easy. I don't want to say garbage bucket, but well, <laughs> sometimes, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of sloppy luck there, maybe. And another shot up and missed. Tough shot by Rama, and here come the Warriors. Shot no good by Vollmer in the paint, but how about the board? Coach Gardner talked about controlling the boards. We're gonna have their first timeout, Coach. Christian McGee and the Red Cloud Crusaders wants a timeout. They're down 10-0. We'll take it with them. You're watching Sodak 16, Class A version, here on Winter Warriors Live back in one minute. Busy families, active seniors, career-minded individuals, and many other time-starved people, just like you, trust Sparkle for professional residential cleaning services that leave them more time to spend with family, friends, and their favorite activities. Which of our regular customers are you? The Sparkle Cleaning Company has the professionals to ease your burden and help to create a safe, clean, and comfortable living environment for you and your family. Free in-home consultations help us to design household cleaning services around you. We clean your house your way. Call Sparkle today for an Appointment. Hi, this is Logan Litoss Seed. Looking ahead to this spring, widespread drought will continue to affect the feed prices, and with that, forage seed will be in high demand. Lock in your forages now. We have a full lineup of corn and beans that have top end potential and can handle the stress extremely well. Our alfalfa lineup is hard to match. Super winter hardy and high producing America's alfalfa, conventional and roundup ready varieties, all the way down to South Dakota Common. NRCS or other grass project, we can handle that. Call Logan at 605-840-4591. Welcome back to Kadoka Area High School Gymnasium, site of the Sodak 16 Class A version game between the Winter Warriors and the Red Cloud Crusaders. After that timeout, uh, Adriano Rama going to pick up a, or draw a personal foul. That one going to be attached to Sean Hammerbeck who's checked down into the game for the Warriors along with Aiden Barfus. Sean, who very capable of get out in the perimeter, if, if not momentarily, to at least come out and play a little defense before he retreats to the hole. And finally, Red Cloud does score. Brought to you by Rama. Four and a half minutes for them to get their first score on this You wonder why defense. winner holds their opponents to 40 points. We've seen it in the first four minutes here. It's pretty tough defense the Crusaders are facing tonight. Offense versus defense here. Nothing called. Bartles from the corner off glass. No good. That one's going to be on Vollmer. Tough foul going for the ball, but definitely a foul nonetheless. And Rama, the recipient of Vollmer's foul. And that'll be two on Blake Vollmer. Something to pay attention to there as he's in foul trouble early. He'll take a seat on the bench. But for the Warriors, Ethan Bartles, Elijah Peterson, Sean Hammerbeck, Slade Knoyer, and Aiden Barfus. Now we've got to check all the substitute. Nate LeBeau now yes. into the game 
for the Crusaders. It's Rama LeBeau. Uh, you've got Monolo on the court. Boy, they're moving. Haas. Haas is out there, yep. Uh, and Josiah Cody are still on the floor. Well, winner are going to pick up their fourth team foul. Still in the first quarter here, 2.47 to go. And it's called on the big easy, Ethan Bartles. He'll pick up his first personal. Red Cloud with the ball. They trail by eight. Just inside the three-point. Rebound fought for, but somehow gotten out of there. And then the steal anyways. Now back come the Warriors. Around the perimeter. Peterson, very capable three-point shooter, trying to get it in to Hammerbeck. And it's going to be off Sean Hammerbeck. He really just couldn't get out of the way. Uh, I think it touched him before it went out of bounds. You know, winners had a, a lot of games where they were not the dominant team when it comes to size on the floor. And they did that same collapsing defense that you're seeing Red Cloud do to the Warriors now. They're trying to create that inside presence with Hammerbeck. But there's a lot of backdoor or backdoor defense yep. coming in there. Not time that last time, you know, they were able to knock it away, disrupt it, uh, the movement a little bit, and an offensive foul called. That's going to be two on Bartles, I'm guessing. Vesley quickly to the bench. Ethan Bartles does pick up his second. So now you have two Warriors. Two of the Warriors starters, Coach Gardner, uh, just catches uh, catches on to that. I think here. Look on his face, not a good one as he sees two of his starters coming to the bench, each with two fouls. Still two minutes to go in the opening period. Five team fouls on the Warriors, one on the Crusaders. 150 to go in ticket. And Crusaders not helping themselves out there. Another turnover. Rama trying to get it to Haas. Just giving you some early statistics so you can get an idea and a feel for this game. Winner, 4 of 11, 36%, 2 of 7 from three-point land. Both Slayers, Slade Knoyer, Trays. Red Cloud right now, 1 of 6, 17%, 0 of 1 from three-point land. They're having trouble getting shots off, and Winner's done a good job of dropping them when they get an opportunity. Nice extra pass. Good flash into the hole. Aiden Barfus with the complimentary pass by Sean Hammerbeck. Great assist by Hammerbeck. Looking for that extra pass. And Winter needed some offense there. They have been pretty stagnant for about the last three minutes. Uh, pretty similar to that Mulbridge game, Jody, where we saw them get out hot early and then cool off. Kind of the same thing here. Only difference is their defense has been all over the Crusaders here, just not giving up much. You've seen Hammerbeck even take threes at times throughout the season. In the paint again, points for Varfus. He's got four. Rama, so good with the ball. <laughs> Pull-up jumper just outside of the elbow, missed everything. Hosk had that one blocked yeah. a little bit. The crowd's not being fair to him. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There was a little bit of a block. <laughs> Somebody got Do you expect the student section in no. your face to be yeah, fair? No. <laughs> oh, watch out. That's the third time that's happened to the Warriors. Uh, just kind of a little bit lackadaisical out there. Can't take your eye off the defender at all. They're going to come out and get it. It'll be on a fast break late before you know it. 20 seconds to go, Warriors with a 12 point lead and the ball, trying to hold for a last shot. Not 10, 10 second differential on that shot clock. Wide open look, little teardrop. A little teardrop, left hander from Peterson. So Warriors didn't hold for last shot and Hammerbeck's gonna pick up his second foul. But so wow, that's gonna be something though. <laughs> Not a starter, but yeah. major role player. <laughs> You take a look, you've got 16 fouls. Two of those right now are on Vollmer, two on Bartles. Bartles just slapped his leg, and two on Hammerbeck, who is a big seventh person off the bench, sixth guy. Okay. So now you're going to see Ashton Klein and Finnegan Bartles check into the game. And I could stand direct, uh, correct to Jody. I think, uh, did they call that on Barfus, that last foul? No. No, oh, that's why Hammerbeck's on the bench. Okay. He's got two. I thought I looked up at the oh, score. Oh, yeah. The, I thought the I looked Barfus up at the score. One. Yeah. So I stand corrected. So calm, calm down the excitement just a, just a hair. <laughs> <laughs> we got one in the books. You never would have imagined it's going to be 16-3. Warrior defense been stingy here so far at Kadoka. 
We'll be back in one minute with second quarter action in this Sodak 16 matchup between the Red Cloud Crusaders and the Winter Warriors. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual Standard of Ohio and Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Welcome back here to Kadoka, South Dakota, home of the Sodak 16. Game two tonight, the last one to tip off in all 16 of the games around the state tonight. It's the Red Cloud Crusaders and Winter Warriors. An unbelievable first quarter winner lead 16-3. Taking a look at some early stats, Rama has all three points for the Crusaders. Slade Knoyer had the first six on two three-pointers for the Warriors. Shooting percentages, Red Cloud 13% in quarter one. Winner shot 50%. 29% beyond that three-point line and uh, Rama connected and dropped a free throw and there's going to be a push and winner now with 17 fouls and we are only 17 seconds into this second quarter. Yeah, Ashton Klein in there a little bit earlier than usual than we've seen him most of the season. Of course he was out for several games with an injury but uh, still he's not used to being in here normally uh, very often anyways this early. And you got Finn and, uh, Finnegan Bartles in here as well. He does see some time early. First free throw good by Rama. Yeah, interesting enough, Jody, uh, both of these teams on their schedule end up playing three opponents that are in the Sodak 16. Of course, winner plays Madison, Stanley County, and uh, Mount Vernon Plankington. Red Cloud plays St. Thomas Moore, Rapid City Christian, and Lakota Tech. Wow. So... <laughs> And now they it, face each other. Right, <laughs> right. So that's seven of the 16 that these two have have played. You can get a pretty good barometer of how <laughs> state tournament matchups might play out based on those matchups. Vesely driving to the hole. Game one. Not something you see a whole lot from Ethan Vesely. Not a drive from the free throw line. Go down and finish with the man one, but I like it. Bartles will check back into the game for Ashton Klein. Taking a look at the five on the floor for the Crusaders. It's Eagle Bear Pointy. You've got Brooks on the floor. You've got Rama, Cotier, and Haas. The starting five on the floor for the Crusaders. Not known for his free throw ability this year. <laughs> Does not matter. Numbers don't matter tonight. Aiden Bartles is now down. going to check out. Great minutes out of him, giving Slade Knoyer a breather. Barfus picks up four points off the bench for the Warriors in that nice little run to get to this 15-point lead. Oh, trailing by 15, about 45 seconds into the second period. Crusaders with the basketball and tough defense by Finn Bartles. Nearly loses it, able to get it back. They keep possession, 15 on the shot clock. And going to be taken away once again by the Warriors. 6.52 remaining in the first half. Warriors with the basketball in the hands of Ulmer. Ulmer bounce pass down low, kicked out from the top. Vesley, three off the mark. Rebound easily pulled in by Brooks. Got a stop ball, Rama penetrates. Kicks. And that one missed. And, you know, scouting on, on the Crusaders was exactly what we just seen down there, Jody. They like to penetrate. If it's there, they're going to take that easy shot in the paint. And if it isn't, if the defense sucks in too much, they're going to kick it out. They like to play the inside out. Look inside first. If it's not there, they're going to kick it out. So winner has to do a nice balanced job of not fully selling out into the paint, but collapsing enough to stop that and then be able to recover to the perimeter. 
Vollmer's going to draw the foul on the Crusader and miss the shot. He'll go to the charity stripe for two. Vollmer's struggled at times from the free throw line, which you normally don't consider that to be very characteristic of him. 73%, still not a slouch at all from the free throw line. Second on the team behind Ethan Bartles, but we've seen him miss some lately. Ballmer's mm. still looking for his first point here in the Sodak 16. And that's just a fine way of saying balanced scoring all year long, right, Jody? Yeah. Does not matter if one player maybe isn't there in any particular point in the game or maybe for the entire game, there's other guys that are going to step up and fill that role. Great job by Bartles going up to contest Brooks there. Punch that away for a Warrior rebound. Knoyer with his Soft. eight points. Using the right hand, but other than that, a little nifty, nifty footwork, ball work, finishes with points, the most important thing of all. Haas going to kick it over here to Eagle Bear Pointy. Back to Haas, long three. Two in a row that haven't drawn rim for the Crusaders. He's got, got a Kenoyer out there getting a hand in the face. That's, you know, if you can't get there, at least get your hands up, make the, tough, uh, make the shot a little more uh, difficult contesting it. Winners pin the Crusaders down only four points. Nearly three minutes into the second period. Careful hanging on to the ball. You teach to keep it above your head, but you still have to have good ball security. Deep into the shot clock, oh. the Warriors. That one swatted away. Kenoya with the shot as the buzzer sounds. Shot clock. Rebound pulled down by Vollmer. And they're going to say he traveled. He wants the foul. Not going to get it. Coach Gardner wanted it as well, but... Travel violation called, turnover on the Warriors. And Crusaders will have the basketball, take what would have been a would-be basket. Balmer's first points back off the board. So Christian McGee going small with his lineup here. Coach Christian McGee takes out Brooks in Eagle Bear Pointy. Stolen by Peterson, can't finish it. Balmer, he traveled that time, I did see it. He did travel, absolutely travel that time. Tough. He was going to flying in there for the rebound and, and had to worry about the uh, the baseline, uh, out of bounce line there. It took just a mini hop to get stopped. And official right on there with a good call and another turnover for the Warriors. Oh, Monolo going to see that one. No, it doesn't go off his foot. That went off Bartles' say, foot. Another one of those close ones what what happened but Bartles definitely initiated that tipping it out must have stayed off him inbound from the baseline and uh Cotier. that's Rama working against Kenoyer he'll get between two defenders but tough shot forced up and ball out of bounds last touched by Monero Aiden Barfus going to check back into the game for the Warriors. Going to give uh, Blake Vollmer a rest here and let him just clear his head. Right now, this has not been a typical game for him. Not you know. in the least. Not as far as offensively, for sure. And the two quick fouls. and They've Come, been physical yep. with Blake. Yep. Fouls early can get in your head a little bit. That one going to be an offensive. Called against Aiden Barfus. Yeah, you got Vollmer sitting with two fouls early in the game. Barfus now with two. Missed a pair of free throws. You got a couple uh, unforced turnovers and no points. So Vegas big, would have lost a lot of money on those on those odds. But again, winner with the 21-4 lead. Don't sweat it. Uh, he's a junior. He's got some definite experience. Uh, you know, he's got to keep his head clear. Three-pointer will not go. Rebound ripped down by the Warriors. They continue to control the boards here in the first half. And it's not like this Red Cloud team is not used to playing a team with size. Oh, no. Winter, Winter has decent size. They just beat a Little Wound team that went seven for the second, foot. For the second time. Yeah, seven foot, six foot nine, six foot four, five ten, five nine with their starting lineup. So the size is not the problem. It's the athleticism of the defenders. Talk about athleticism. Rama yeah. really had it. Uh, a turnover himself, but able to 
Use his hand, keep the dribble going. Saves the turnover. Ultimately, it's going to go to the Warriors, though, on the missed shot. But that was a great display of recovery and athleticism there by Rama. So now Barfus is going to be substituted by four with Blake Vollmer. Barfus now questioning some of the calls, a little frustrated. Poor pass there by Bartles. Has it picked by Rama. There, man. Makes him pay for it. Points off turnover. That one drove, drew rain. <laughs> Rama with all six of the Crusader points here. And whistle on a foul. This time going to be called on the Crusaders. I think Rama just picked up his second. He did. Crusaders only with four team fouls, though. Tough to have two of them be on the same player. Walmer takes his time. Gets the play from the sideline. 2.49 to go in the second period. Winner up. Oh, that's three on Rama. Tried to get a slap from behind there on Vollmer. And that's going to be an instant seat. And that's a situation where, yeah, I mean, if you're going to stay in the game with two, that's okay at this point in the game. But you do have to be a little careful. Cannot be as aggressive as you want to be at this point. And he pays for it with his third foul. His replacement is going to be Nick Zuninga, the 5'11 junior guard. So Rama's got all six of the six Crusader points. Where does the offense come from? Hammer back. Oh, we said, I said earlier when he had the ball on the, on the perimeter on the wing, he can shoot the three, and he will occasionally. We've seen him dunking all season. Now Hammer you're starting a, to try. A 29% three-point shooter on the season. Yeah, Rama averages 15.7 points a contest. Is their leading scorer, leading rebounder, leaders in assists, leader in steal. This game is definitely going to be channeled through Rama, you would expect, but with three fouls and on the bench, it be tough to do that. Tough Hit shot, Hammerbeck. good finish, Hammerbeck. Rama hits the floor hard, but Hammerbeck comes to the rescue. Minute 45 to go, Crusaders back, cut, oh, clean block by the block leader for the Warriors, Big Easy. Minute 35 to go in the paint, tough shot. Vollmer just hasn't had too many easy ones here in the opening half. Bartles able to get the ball though for the Warriors, so shot clock reset, and winner will slow it up and take it back from the top. Ben Bartles for three, no good, but Ballmer chases the rebound down, and the Warriors will again have a new shot clock and a timeout called by Coach Gardner, 30 seconds. We're going to take it with him. What a fast-moving game here in Kadoka, South Dakota. You're watching Sodak 16 action here on WinterWarriorsLive.com. We'll be back in 30. Are you confident that you have the right products for your field? Contact Sherm Gucci with Hogemeyer, the right seed. Sherm will help you select the right products for your acres, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and sorghum. If world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer. The right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. Welcome back here to Kadoka, South Dakota. This is uh, WinterWarriorsLive.com coverage of the Winter Warriors. Tonight, the opponent is the Red Cloud Crusaders here, the Sodak 16. 28 6 your score, 109 to go in the first half. Winter will have 31 on the shot clock. That means probably a possession for each team, maybe a second possession for Winter. Foul trouble for both teams, but probably leaping over winner's foul trouble is probably honestly Red Clouds and their Rama's. single player in Rama. Again, he leads the, the team in most major categories, including points scored at nearly 16 a, a game. So when you're down uh, by as many as you are right now in 22, those are points that you don't want on the bench. Right now leading the way for the Warriors has been Slade Kenoyer, 
dropped the first two three-pointers in the game and had that last, well, not the last bucket. Sean Hammerbeck's had the last five, but he picked up a rolling fingertip roll bucket for eight. Patient. Doesn't pay off. Ah, hold on a second. All right. Can only be able to get it back. Almost had it taken by Cartier. Four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Yeah, I don't think they're going to let them rest easy. faro has got to be careful. Doesn't want the double team out there and get trapped. 12 to go, six on the shot clock. Sets up Knoyer, fading away, shot long. And Bartles comes out of nowhere and he'll draw the foul and have two free throws with 5.1 left to go. Senior Michael Olson getting ready to check in over on the far sideline. Two free throws for Finn Bartles, 56% free throw shooter on the season. Michael Olson going to check in for Aiden Barfus. Ashton Klein checking in for Ethan Bartles. Going to stay out of any further foul trouble. The two storylines of this half, foul trouble for both the teams at different times. And the Warrior defense holding the Crusaders, a team that scores 67 a game to six points with five seconds left in this first half. I think half. this is potentially one of the better defenses they've seen all season. Adventure guess to say it's what's their low output on the season. That one no good at the paint at the buzzer. Waved off. 29-6 your halftime score. Kadoka, South Dakota, home in sights of the Sodak 16 Class A matchup between the Red Cloud Crusaders and the Winter Warriors. And answer your question quickly, Jody. 41 against the White River Tigers. All right. 41, the low output on the season. Oh, take that back. My bad. 36, St. Thomas Moore, Cavaliers. The Cavaliers, <laughs> of course. They play defense 36 also. points. Jody Brosen, Gerald Tibrick here for WinterWarriorsLive.com. We're telling you we'll be back with about two minutes to go in the half. First half stats at that point. More to come. You're watching and listening to your home of webcast, WinterWarriorsLive.com. of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take sports or act your order Yes, it's that simple. Want to build your car online? Vern ID Ford your way. Want to chat with our order expert? Vern ID Ford your way. Whatever you want, however you want, Vern ID Ford your way can help. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. What drives the next generation of champions? Those student athletes who choose to do what is difficult with commitment, with sacrifice, with faith that hard work does pay off in the end. 
no matter the final score. Vernity of Mitchell believes in the next generation of student leaders as they excel on the playing field, on the court, on the mat, and in everyday life. Vernity of Mitchell, we deliver what you need for the road of life. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at farmcosd.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Need to brighten up your home or office? How about warming or cooling down your environment? Then stop on over to 130 North Main in Winter and visit with Couture Electric. Bob, Tyler, and the crew will shed some light with quality advice and fast, courteous service on your next project. And they provide the same quality service for a single light repair as they would a new construction or remodel. Call them at 842-1510. Couture Electric, a proud supporter of all Warrior and Lady Warrior activities on Winter Warriors Live. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Easy Entrees is a locally owned business that specializes in take and bake entrees. We feature an assortment of frozen ready to bake options for you to choose from. All of our recipes are made with care and fresh ingredients so that you can have a healthy and delicious meal, allowing you to have more quality time with your family. Our menus change monthly. Just click on our banner ad at the sports ticket page to see our current monthly menu. Remember, dishing up dinner is as easy as picking up the phone and dialing 842-EASY for easy entrees. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only 28495 Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only 6995 Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only 17995 Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. The best Western Ramcota Hotel in Rapid City supports all South Dakota student athletes and their families. They are conveniently located off Interstate 90, close to downtown and minutes from the beautiful Black Hills. The Ramcota offers sports and family friendly rates. Guests can relax for free in the indoor water park. They have 36,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space, and the award winning Minerva's Restaurant and Bar is located on site. Best Western Ramcota welcomes everyone to beautiful Rapid City, South Dakota. No job is too big or small for the gang at h &O Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h &O Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h &O Electric is a proud sponsor of Winter Warrior and Lady Warrior coverage on Winter Warriors Live. Com. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. 
Bluehost.com now. Your winning destination, the Golden Buffalo Casino in Lower Brule, gives you more chances to win. Hot seat drawings, pick a prize drawings, chances to win great prizes, the hottest slots around, it's all just waiting for you at the Golden Buffalo Casino. Find out more by logging on to thegoldenbuffalocasino.com and by following them on Facebook. Just minutes north of Reliance, exit 248. We'd like to thank you for tuning into this broadcast and supporting our area youth. The Golden Buffalo Casino, proud to support Live Ticket. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul, helping you and your community achieve financial success. BankWest. Convenient. Connected. Committed. Member FDIC. Visit Mead Lumber in winter for all of your home projects and construction needs. Whether you're thinking about remodeling your kitchen or bath, some new siding or roofing, or upgrading your windows, Mead Lumber has the high quality materials and experienced associates to help make your next project a success. Give them a call at 605-842-3388. Mead Lumber is a proud sponsor of high school activities. Welcome back here to Kadoka High School or Kadoka Area High School Gymnasium. We had to uh, delay our entry back as there was copyrighted background music. Didn't want to get a violation. But let's quickly go through the stats. Warriors outscore Red Cloud 16-3 in the first quarter, 13-3 in the second quarter. Your halftime score 29-6. Red Cloud shoots 2 of 19, 11% from the field in the first half, 0 of 7 from beyond the three-point line. They were two of six from the uh, free throw line. Winner, 12 of 27, 44%. Three of 12 from beyond the arc for 25%. Two of five from the free throw line for 40%. Coach Gardner said the key to the game was a plus 10 rebound advantage. Warriors out rebounding the Crusaders 28 to five. That's one of the big, big differences in this game. That might be one of the more dominant performances we've seen from the Warriors all season. Individual, time to do it. Individual scoring on Adriano Rama has six points, two made baskets, two free throws. Um, he's the only one that scored for the Crusaders. For the Warriors, Slade Kanoi are leading with eight points. Aiden Barfus with six. Hammerbeck with five. Four for Ethan Bartles, Elijah Peterson, three for Jackson Vesley, and Finn Bartles with a bucket. So some early scoring here. Cotier for the Crusaders gets his first bucket of the night, and it's 2-2 two to two so far. Ethan Bartles scored the first one for the Warriors. Elijah Peterson down low. Great no-look assist there from Slade Knoyer. High off glass. Wow, he gets is impressive. Fall. Yeah, out there with three fouls, but at some point you do have to just go all in. And travel going to be called on Vesley. Contact against Haas will not matter one way or the other. Travel came first. 33 to 10, 649 in the third period. Crusaders with the basketball. Swing perimeter. Great cut. Nice drive. Can't finish, though. And yeah, what's going to foul going to be called? Let's take a look. Is that Vollmer's third foul? I'll say by his reaction, I'm thinking it is. It is. Aiden Barfus quickly to the scorer's table. And you got to believe if you told Coach Christian McGee 
your team would, at the 6.30 mark of the third quarter, have held Vollmer scoreless. If we take away Vollmer completely, we're going to be in good shape. <laughs> and it's 33 to 11. <laughs> and that probably, Eagle yeah. Eagle Bear pointy with the free throw. That makes it 33 to 11. Oh, the storylines of the Sodak 16. He's a sub 40% free throw shooter on the season, but he does get one of two on the trip. Nice pass all alone. Camped out Ethan Bartles. He's got four points this period. There's the drives we see from the Crusaders, able to get to the hoop quite a bit at times tonight. Unable to finish, though. Big difference. That will slow it down. Pass t uh, tipped away, rather, from Kanoy as he was going to attempt to pass. That shot no good. Rebound, and it's a two on nobody. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a bad call by the official. He took a guess. He was not in position. He was sprinting down there to try to see it. He, he took a guess that it went out of bounds. I, wow. Well, That's unfortunate. Worse than that, the pass. I mean, well, correct. It, all it, the pass it shouldn't did. have been that way. You had two <laughs> warriors, nobody around him with 30 feet. Hold uh, the you, pass you, in. You and absolutely get the make that happen, but an unfortunate, yeah. Oh. And foul going to be called. Eden Barfus nods his head. He coach his coach McGee right in the ear, the official there. He <laughs> makes sure that one got called. So Aiden will pick up his third. He has been substit substituted into the game for Blake Vollmer, who has three fouls. Only benefit to the Warriors is they normally play, can play eight, sometimes nine deep pretty well. And they've got the lead that they do. So they can afford to have some bench time for some of their big uh, role players. But, yeah, it's kind of scary. A team that's not used to being in this much foul trouble, we're seeing it tonight. Wide open, three-pointer. Oh, God! Elijah Peterson for three. 38% three-point shooter on the season. And Crusaders... Drive against Barfus, and he's going to get another one. <laughs> Almost better off to just let him go around you. Yeah, because you got baseline help. You got Bartles down there in the baseline. He, he's on your hip, and he's going by you. Don't try to block it. Get that backside baseline help. Let him go. Let the big Ethan Bartles. Ethan, you know, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, it's going to be an obstacle. Barfus has to recognize with three, you don't want four. Five minutes remaining in the third. He'll, he'll have a lot of minutes in the penalty box. Shot fake, got Peterson off his feet. He'll beat the defense to the hoop, but again, hits the floor. Nothing called and no basket for the Crusaders. Bounce pass. Interrupted by Bartles. Handed off to Knoyer. Is it two? No. Peterson misses it, rebound loose. Still fought for, finally hauled in. And then a pass out of bounds, just not on the same page. Rama drove inside. Once again, looked to kick it out. Had two Crusader teammates over there. Kind of threw it right down the middle to nobody. Actually hit the official. <laughs> no, nope. threw it between his legs. The official didn't get hit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so Warriors back with the basketballs. Vollmer and Hammerbeck await to come in. Nice pass again from Kenoyer. Finishing it off. Tough. Ethan Bartles down low. Halfway through the third period, winner lead pretty healthy one, 40 to 11. Nice crossover move around Vesley and finishes oh. tough on the other side. Monte, or, uh, Montelo, Monte Montelo, beautiful reverse layup. Even going younger with the team, only a sophomore for Co Coach McGee. Peterson nearly loses it. Hands off, kicked out, Kanoyer for three. That oh, was good. Goodness. Clean that in the nets. That was silk slaying, baby. Beautiful stroke by Slade Knoyer. It's 43-13 with 3.37 to go. We're going to step away from Sodak 16 action here in Kadoka. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Farmers at heart. At Bex, that's who we are. 
For over 100 years, the Beck family has lived and farmed in central Indiana. Today, we're proud to serve a dedicated community of farmers in South Dakota. To us, helping farmers succeed means so much more than just being a great seed supplier. Our family of employees and dealers are committed to helping farmers seek new challenges, push boundaries, and innovate in an ever-changing industry. That's what makes Beck's different. We love what we do. We are, and will remain, farmers at heart. Welcome back. Jordy Brozick and Gerald Tibrick here with WinterWarriorsLive.com bringing you coverage of Sodak 16 action, Class A style. Warriors leading 43-13 with 3.37 to go here in the third quarter. The story of this game, and there's been two of them, it's been the personal fouls against the Warriors. They had early foul trouble in the first half. They've got some of their best players with four and three fouls sitting on the bench. Well, no, Vollmer's back in. But then it's that Warrior defense. They were playing so tight. They've only given up 15. There's a reason they've got fouls, because they're hounding the Crusaders. Definitely. See Josiah Cotier pick up a couple more. He's got four now on the evening. And what's one a foul called? Tim Bartles will have a couple free throws in front of him. Kudos to Finnegan. He's had a real expanded role tonight with yeah. the foul troubles of, uh, of Vollmer and Barfus, and he stepped up. He's only got one free throw, but he's been a big ball distributor out at the, on the top of the key and playing good defense yeah. also. Speed and defense for sure. He can shoot the ball uh, just fine. Winner now shooting 53% from the field. Long That's rebound. That's pretty impressive. Steal there, nice steal. And that was number 12, Nate LeBeau, tipping that away from Sean Hammerbeck, who's now in the game. Mention LeBeau. Oh! Mention him again. Just drops a three from the corner. How often do you see that? A guy makes a great play defensively on the other end. Give it back. Give it back to him because he's feeling it. And another travel. Nope. Oh, a jump ball call. Wow. I was expecting a foul or travel call. <laughs> we get a jump ball call. So... Ultimately, it's, it's going to be kind of like a turnover in the fact that it's going to give the ball to uh, the Crusaders. Yeah, a lot of fans down there wanted the foul. Uh, I think they're saying pushing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought they were saying something Correct. else. Correct, I think that was like by design. Push it or, yeah. or something, yeah. <laughs> something we can't say on this air. This gym is hard on the referees because <laughs> <laughs> the crowd is right on your grill. Yes. Great, healthy crowd here from winter tonight. And we're glad they're all here, and we're glad you're all with us uh, as well. Taking a look at that rebound advantage. Warriors with 30, Finn Bartles. We got a technical foul called on Coach McGee, or is it just a warning? He's giving him a warning, maybe. That's just been a warning. Uh, now he's teed up. And I'm not really sure who he's talking to. It almost looks like he's looking at Coach Gardner. And he's definitely looking, paying attention to the official that gave him the warning and the technical. But he kind of seemed like his attention was off. I don't know, maybe he's just looking at a point of the area on the floor. Hard to sort it out, but Coach Gardner walking over there. Coach Olson getting Coach Gardner back. I'm not really sure what happened there, but Crowd Girls Wrestle says we're stopped with stop play at a minute 22 in the third, 44 to 18, and we're still kind of sorting it out here. Technical foul shots in Homer is over from the free throw line. Blake Vollmer is still searching for his first point of the night with 122 to go. And he's Here. definitely the ace in the hole at the free throw line you would put up there any time. Tonight, though, there it is. There it is. Sometimes a shooter just needs to get to the charity stripe, work out the kinks. You know, he might drop 20 in the next nine minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he finishes with a dozen or more, no doubt. Uh, would not be surprised at all. So let's take a look in the five on the floor. First for the Crusaders, you got Zuninga out there. 
along with Eagle Bear Pointy, Rama. Looks like Cotier is on the floor also, along with Lebeau. Lebeau. Yeah, playing down on that low post. Baseline jumper with some contact, nothing called. And quickly back, nice dish off at the basket. Patient, that time makes it pay. Both Warrior defenders leave their feet. And Zaninga has the easy bucket. Inside a minute to go here, Warriors with the basketball. Finn Bartles stops his dribble. Free throw from Palmer. He just had practice at it this time. The soft jumper. Now he's got three. Pull up from the left elbow, no good. Long rebound though, Zaninga. Shot clock is off, but it doesn't matter. Crusaders have got to attack. They load up the three. Good to the three. And this little timeout called by the Crusaders. Good quarter here for the Crusaders as they have 17 with 26 seconds to go. We're going to have a 30 second break. This is a timeout during the Sodak 16. Back in a moment. The Office Product Center started doing business in 1981 and will be celebrating 40 years of business in October. They service and sell manual typewriters, admin machines, hand crank cash registers, and duplicators. They also service and sell connected copiers, printers, scanners, office supplies, and office furniture. Over the past 40 years, they've adopted and educated themselves to today's technology, and they support local students in all of their activities. They want to thank you for allowing them to be a part of your past and look forward to working with you in the future. Back in Kadoka, South Dakota, this is Sodak 16 Class A action. Red Cloud and Winner. Winner outscoring Red Cloud in this quarter, 18-17. Took the words right out of my mouth, Jody. What a competitive quarter this has been. And it really feels like, even though still quite a margin here, it feels like this has been Red Cloud's period for it, sure. It really has been. Winner outscores Red Cloud 16-3 in the first quarter, 13-3 in the second quarter. Led 29-6 at half by 23 they lead by 24, but just a much better quarter and output. Coach McGee got getting everything out of his kids that he could ask for right now with that big deficit. And sometimes when your coach gets a technical foul, that's that's just fuel to the fire. That's that's going to ramp up intensity and effort even that much more as we are 26 seconds away from ending this third period here from Kadoka Area High School. Vesley runs the baseline. He'll get it. Some full court, man-to-man -man pressure. Ballmer gonna dribble past. Bear point. Ballmer with ball in hand. 10, Ten seconds, seconds to, go. to go. Eagle Bear Pointy gonna be called for the foul fighting through the pick of Ballmer there. Now Eagle Bear Pointy and uh, Montalo both clapping almost as if <laughs> either they agreed with it or they maybe thought it was uh, not not on them, but it was on uh, Monty Montalo. Oh, great steal there, Zuninga. Not aware of the time left, though. They're not going to get a good shot off. Oh, is it online? If it had enough behind it, it'll fall short. Your score, 47-23. There's eight minutes remaining in the final game of the Sodak 16-2022 version. We'll be back in one minute. It might be time for you to strongly consider leasing bulls from Jorgensen Land and Cattle. Here's Cody. We'll get the bull to your place. Generally, we'll, we'll be able to get the bull picked up when you're done with them. So there's no reason for you to have a bull around your place for, you know, nine, ten months of the year that you don't need him. Um, he's just costing you money. He's eating feed. He's tearing up your corral. So so there's just no reason for it. Uh, it's, it's become very popular just, just in the fact that it's, it's convenient for people. Call 1-800-548-BULL. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back here to Kadoka, South Dakota. This is Kadoka Area High School Gymnasium, host of the final Sodak 16 game. 
of 2022. Warriors lead this one 47-23. Coach Olson not impressed by that decision. And the Warriors have the turnover to start the, the fourth period. Uh, interestingly enough, though, Rama keeps his nose clean for an entire period. He's still just got the three fouls. That's huge for Red Cloud. Warriors still have that similar foul trouble uh, with Barfus still on the bench with four. Other than that, everybody not looking in too bad a shape at this point with three or less. Scroungy D. Rama, nothing but the bottom of the net. Did not make it through the rim, however. And that's going to be a travel. travel. Mm -hmm. Vollmer hoping for a little more contact earlier to sort of bail him out of that one. Not too much spin in the spin move. So Red Cloud will have the basketball after the turnover from Vollmer. And there you see the inside out, inside Ooh. out. Whistle on a foul call. Rama hits the floor. A lot of cutting into the lane. Passes going back out to the perimeter. Back in the lane on the cuts. Rama leading the scoring for the Crusaders with eight. He's made uh, three field goals. Oh, yes. And two free throws. Nate LeBeau with a pair of three-pointers in that third quarter. Has six. Josiah Cotier with four. And Monte Montalo with a bucket along with Zuninga and Eagle Bear Pointy with a free throw. Those are your leading scorers tonight for the Crusaders. Rama will deliver and deposit his ninth point here of the game. 67% free throw shooter on the season, Rama. 6.30 to go in regulation. Winner's lead was larger for most of the game, uh, much, much of the game. It closed up or stayed pretty even in that third period. I'm not sure why the clock is running at this point. Only a 22 point lead, the clock is still running. Clock should have stopped uh, several seconds ago. Apparently gonna go unnoticed. It did. Yeah, I bet a good 15 seconds or better came off the clock there while play was stopped, but here are the Warriors. Kenoyer somehow, I don't know how he got that pass. The ball goes, but he did. He's got two of the most beautiful assists tonight. The only one I saw better was in the Platt game. <laughs> yeah, yep. And then a turnover here on Forrest as Rama again sends it out of bounds, just not on the same wavelength with teammates. That trip down the court. Winner gets the ball right back here, 522 remaining. Knoyer working against Eagle Bear, pointing. Warriors on the perimeter. Knoyer looks to drive. Oh. Behind the back dish. Uh, I'm going yeah, to put that one on Knoyer. That was really, uh, <laughs> a little too tight on the wrap around the back. Uh, Bartles didn't basically have a chance to even react to that, and it wasn't to him. Sends it into the student section. It's not like baseball. They didn't get to keep that ball. Yeah. They had to throw it back, throw it back. And whistling a foul called. Kenoyer leading the Warriors in all three categories. Right now, 11 points. He leads the Warriors with nine rebounds, and Slade has four assists. Right in line with his season average of 4.1. Uh, Kenoyer, 4.3 rebounds on the season and 9.8 points per game. So uh, average or better in all three of those categories. Second on the team. Kenoyer and Bartles with nine rebounds apiece. Blake Vollmer with six. Those are the three leading uh, rebounders. But that board advantage for the Warriors, 36 to nine right now. Coach Gardner is for 12 remaining. Knoyer inbounds it. If Bartles could have fielded it cleanly, he had a pretty easy opportunity. <laughs> that one flat as it, you'll see. 
<laughs> gets it in somehow. Nestle smiles. Knoyer smiles when he drains threes, nothing but net. Nestle smiles when he gets shots like that to fall. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, taking a look for Nestle. That is um, his fifth point of the night. Let's win a foul and one. Carlos gets knocked out of bounds, not before he puts one down and he'll have a free throw. Aiden Barfus back into the game for the Warriors a minute ago. Ethan Bartles now your leading scorer for the Warriors with 12 points. He'll go to the free throw line for an old fashioned three point play attempt and possibly his 13th point here of the night. Averages He's getting close to a double double and I don't ever remember Ethan having a double double this oh, year. he's had a couple of good out, uh, offensive outputs uh, where he's led the team in scoring. I don't know if he's maybe had the rebounds behind it, but um, but you're going to see that, though. You see Knoyer and Bartles both going above their season averages because... And they're both one rebound away from a double-double because of the foul troubles of the other guys. Right? Yeah. Three-pointer with the hand in the face. No good. Out of bounds. Actually thought that could have been off Eagle Bear Point E, but official right there. Going to say it's going to stay with the Crusaders off of Hammerbeck. Sure easily could have been a foul, too, as he right. was writing him out. Right. Inbound pass. Nearly stolen. Well maintain possession. And here's Rama. Sees the first cutter go through. I'm going on the right wing, working against Hammerbeck. Back out. Nearly loses it, Matalo. Ooh, close to a walk there by Rama, and that should have been a jump ball, in my opinion. But whistle on a foul called. Tough call for the official to make from behind there. Looked like a lot of ball. Peterson says, hey, it's a jump ball. Foul call, though, on Peterson. Actually, they tagged that on Hammerback. That's maybe why Peterson says, oh, no. not a jump on ball. Rama misses everything. The 67% free throw shooter. We got one coming in for the shooter. He'll have to wait to see if Rama makes it or not. And he does, and now he'll get his opportunity. Don't know if it feels this way. Caden brings plenty coming into the game. One of the seniors, I believe. Yeah, Caden, a senior, one of two here on the Red Cloud Crusader team. Seneca Valandra, the other senior, going to get some playing time here soon. This is a young Crusader team. 15 and 6 on the season this year. They're coming in averaging 64 when I re-looked at it. 63.7 to be exact. Um, they're going to come back with a vengeance next year. This is going to be a fun, fun team to watch. Clock still running here with only a 28 point lead. I'm not sure about that one. We'll get clarification later. Dayton Puyer uh, into the game, number 21 for the Crusaders. Michael Olson also back into the game. We saw him for seconds in the first half. Senior Michael Olson, number 10 out there as well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't paying close enough attention if we cracked the 30 mark or not even, but I know earlier. We did, we did. Earlier. Uh, Ashton Klein, the senior, going to check in along with Colby Osborne and Finn Bartles. Ethan Bartles and Slade Knoyer will go to the bench. Getting all the seniors. Michael Olson also into the game. So four seniors and a freshman out there, the freshman being Sean Hammerback. LeBeau going to drain the first free throw, cut this lead exactly in half, 54-27. LeBeau now with seven points. And being told the score has to be back within 20 for the clock, or for Right, clock right, yeah, I wasn't again. paying enough attention yep. to the scoreboard. Thank you, Nicole. Yep. Yeah, I realize it doesn't stop when the lead cuts back under 30. I just wasn't paying enough attention to begin with. Oh, yes! Yeah, <laughs> Finnegan! Nope, that was Colby yeah, Osborne. That was Osborne. <laughs> 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 
Hammerback with the block shot. Ashton Klein will clean up the rebound. It's not a wonder Osborne made that three-pointer. I always got to mention it, but he 48% three-point shooter on the season, Jody. Leads the team in percentage, three-point percentage, 48%. Ryder Halligan now into the game along with Pierce Nelson and Blotsky checking into the game for the Warriors. Going to get everybody Chaz. in. Shot no good. Rebound fought for and controlled by Nate LeBeau. Nelson guarding Zuniga and swatted out of there. But Crusaders chase it down and they'll maintain possession. Driving down the lane, shot off glass, no good. Tough one that time for Monolo. Final seconds ticking down. Halligan will bring it out. Over to senior Ashton Klein, he'll get to hang on to it as the final couple seconds expire. When his crowd gets loud, 57-28, Jody. Winner is headed to state. Back-to-back -back seasons, it's only happened one other time before, I believe I could be incorrect. That was back in the, what, 16 and 17 seasons. Coach Gardner took teams back-to-back -to, -back to the state titles. For sure the second time that he's taken Warrior teams back in back-to-back -back years. Congratulations to Coach Gardner and the Warriors. Let's take a look at the, the leaders in this game. Winner came out and outscored the Crusade, Crusaders 16-3 in the first quarter. They led 29-3 at halftime. Great performance in the third quarter as that was the best played quarter between those two teams. Warriors outscored the Crusaders 18-17, but super competitive. The 10-5 advantage to the Warriors in the fourth gets us to 57-28. Winner shoots 55% from the field, 35% from three-point range. They made 5 of 10 free throws, 50%. Uh, Red Cloud, 9 of 24, 21%. 15 percent beyond the arc. And 57% from the free throw lines. Rebounding advantage, 40 rebounds for the Warriors to 11 for the Crusaders. Warriors with 14 offensive rebounds. Those second chance points were there all night for them. Um, Assist 19 to 3 as would be expected. Steals, Red Cloud with six, Warriors with four. Turnovers, Warriors actually turned the ball over more. 17 to 9. Taking a look at individual scoring for the Crusaders. Adriano Rama led the way with 11 points, three rebounds for the Crusaders. You had Nate LeBeau with eight points, two rebounds. Josiah Cotier, four points, no rebounds. Monty Montalo, two points, two rebounds. And Nick Zuninga, two points and a rebound. Stacy Eaglebear Pointy with a free throw to round out your scoring for Red Cloud. For the Warriors, nobody got to double double statistics, but Ethan Bartles led the way. 13 points, nine rebounds. Slade Knoyer, 11 points, nine rebounds. Elijah Peterson, nine points and a rebound. Aiden Barfa, six points, four rebounds, three assists. And I should throw out Knoyer led the way with four assists. Jackson Vesley, five points, four rebounds. Hammerbeck, five points, two rebounds. Blake Vollmer, three points, six rebounds, two assists. So a solid game. Colby Osborne with that three gets in the books along with Finn Bartles, two points, three rebounds, two assists. We're going to the state tournament. We yep. know our opponent's going to be the Sioux Valley Cossacks. I was going to say, we'll take a look at that. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, 12, six, seven, and nine seeds, respectively. Dakota Valley, St. Thomas Moore, winner, Flandreau, Sioux Falls Christian, Groton area, Sioux Valley, and Lakota Tech, all official, punch their tickets to the state tournament. Of course, it'll be held March 17th through the 19th at the Summit Arena at the Monument in Rapid City, South Dakota. That Sioux Valley team's a team that, um, taking a look at their season, uh, that'll be the first game of the evening session, if I'm reading that correctly. Lakota Tech and Flandreau will have the late game. Dakota Valley, Sioux Falls, Christian will open things. St. Thomas, Moore, Groton will be game two, but 
taking a look at the Cossacks. This is a team that I believe the Warriors play, and I know I have Latrell Turkelson listening. He did say their junior, his junior senior year, they went to the state tournaments. Might have been a three-year run for the Warriors in there, but Sioux Valley, one of the teams that have nipped, nipped one of those teams in the consolation semis, possibly. Um, they've got victories over a very good Clark Willow Lake team that was stingy tonight. They lost to Dismet, 55-47. Had them beat at one point, what many consider the best team in <laughs> the state tournament. They have a loss to Flandreau, who's also in the state tournament, 70-40. to They played T, defeated T, 63-47. T now ranked number five. Played um, the fourth-ranked Flandreau Flyers, defeated them, 55-47. They lost to White River 64-62 at the Pentagon in a very good game. They lost to Castlewood, who we saw just rock Platt Gettys tonight in the Sodak 16 and the Bees. Sioux Falls Christian, another state tournament qualifier. Uh, they lost two by one. They beat a very good lower Brule Sioux team, 70-69. to And then, of course, they started their roll through the playoffs with a victory over Great Plains Lutheran, Hamlin, and really a surprise 30-point victory over the Hanson Beavers today in the Sodak 16. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the Warriors will face next weekend in Rapid City. Hey, we're going to the summit at the Monument. Warriors going back to the state tournament. Final score here, 54-28. Any closing thoughts as I'm done rambling? Yeah, it'd be a broken record if I did, but the uh, most impressive thing to me tonight is Palmer finds any way but scoring basically tonight to contribute. Uh, a little very uncharacteristically uh, <laughs> game, a game in which that he didn't he didn't perform to you know his highest levels for sure tonight. He'd be the first one to admit that. Uh, rare, rare, rare thing to see. Hey, we got him. fans out there correcting me all over. I gotta, I gotta admit when I'm wrong. Okay. Castlewood beat Burke tonight, not Platt Gettys. Got a Wabe well, Summit beat. Yep. Um, Wabe Summit actually defeated Platt tonight. So, well, I know we still have fans out there. They're your fans, not <laughs> our fans. I'll let you go ahead and finish. Uh, as the Warriors are cutting down the net there, we see senior Ashton Klein uh, taking his turn now, Michael Olson. But um, just fun. It's very rewarding to have a season like you do, a uh, one loss season. A very dominant uh, performance through most of the most of the season. They had some tough, tough contests against some very good teams along the way, for sure. But uh, able to battle through those. Uh, a lot of games that went similar to tonight, also where they just pretty much controlled it from buzzer to buzzer. Uh, again, to finish my thought, at Vollmer, not his best night. But how about teammates picking, picking up, him up, picking him up, and figuring out ways to do it. And that's one of the benefits of having the balanced scoring that they do and the team play that they do. The strengths of the Winter Warriors, besides their defense, the team play, the unselfish play, and just at any given moment, somebody's ready to step up and do something better than they've done prior. And, and we've seen that tonight perfectly, uh, perfectly done tonight by the Warriors. Much deserved win. Fun team to watch all this year, 22-1. and one. Um, I would have, I got to be honest, had they not made the state tournament, I would have been extremely disappointed. I want them to go back. We saw them you play that. You and 3,000 other people. Yeah. <laughs> that they, last year when they got there, they played that great opening round game against Dakota Valley and uh, nearly came away with a game, had their chances. Then two games that just maybe the depth, the three games, it's brutal. And three games, three days, the legs on the big court. I wanted to see this team get back, and it's going to be fun, fun to see this team because it's totally different than the team last year. Yep. Let's see how they can get out there and perform. It's hard to do, but I think I'll give Bet uh, Betsy credit at, towards the beginning of this season. I don't oh, know that is hard to do. Beginning, she said she felt like winter was kind of a year away. Really, last year it was a little more of a surprise. Just awesome that they made it there. This year was going to be a lot different year for them. This was a year that expectations really rose, and so did their level of play. You've seen it all year long. I really do think that they're much more ready for this state tournament than they were last year. 
We're going to pack it up. We need to get yeah. on the road. The roads are bad, drive. but we want to thank you all for coming along on the ride, the free ticket ride here on LiveTicket.tv for Shane Day, uh, Ryan Sell, Joel Tibrick. This is Jody Brozick going to sign off. And thank you again, all of you, for being with us this sports season. We'll have baseball and track action coming up, but it's been a wonderful, uh, just wonderful year bringing you all the coverage of the Warriors and Lady Warriors. Thank you all. Thank the sponsors when you're out and about who've allowed us to do this for you and bring these right into your living rooms That's on, right. on nights like tonight when it's not going to be fun traveling. <laughs> right. We're not so. the ones giving them the free ticket. The sponsors They are. really are. Yep. Very good point. Anyhow, from Shane, Brian, Gerald, this is Jody Brozick saying good night. <laughs>